All right, what's up, guys? Mr. Brown, 57, you too. Um, out here in the local park, uh, getting ready to uh, take another flight. I guess it's flight number 19. So if you can see, this is the park. Really nice park. It was donated by a, uh, a neighbor. So all along the tree line here, you can see that it go all the way. Then back there, where I'm pointing at, is a a pond like a nice side little pond back there and on a tree line there behind there the park goes all the way on back there it's a pretty good sized park you can see these trails that have been cut you can walk all the way around all the way through there in the middle then you walk all the way along the tree line then right between somewhere in there there's an opening you can walk between there and go to the other side of the park so it's a pretty good sized park so i'm gonna uh try to do a little flight here and uh let y'all check it out now, will I ever get to the level of invert flight? Probably, probably never. I don't know. Never. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot to learn. It's a lot to learn. It's one of those things you'll be willing to take a chance crashing. Uh, I'm just a little too nervous. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to get into this thing. All right. <clears throat> so on these Wakira helicopters. From what I learned from having this helicopter is you plug it in first. Turn your radio on. All your switches. You'll see this here move. Should move twice. No, it may move once. Once it links up. That little beep. Then a movement. There we go. So it's three movements, so it beeps and sets up and then servo checking, then it's good to go. All right, let's see how she goes. Like I said, it's a little wind. It was a little wind out here, but it kind of like comes and goes and waves. Right now, the wind's probably like about three miles an hour. Then sometime it'll just whip up to like seven. This is just fun. I might have to get a new speed controller because now this one's starting to glitch a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, it's pretty balanced as you can see my hand is off the controller a little bit. You know. I couldn't fly like this in my backyard because too many trees, too many things to run into. Like I said, I'm still a rookie. So no, I'm still just uh, learning the orientation is, is, is one of the tricky things about flying these helicopters. But like I said, right now is a good hobby to get into her. So when I first started out, even just flying a regular four channel was hard to fly because you didn't have a you didn't have a gyro on them. Now you can, you can get a four channel with a gyro on it. You know. And so it's easy now to learn how to fly on these. Real easy now. Yeah.
See, having this open field, man, allows me to make these like quick turns and stuff. Where at home, I wouldn't have been able to do all this. You know, get used to my stick orientation. You know, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do all this and learn how to get used to my stick orientation. Yeah, coming out to the field, man, it just makes a world of a difference in learning. I don't feel as nervous, you know, because I feel like if I crash in the week, it won't be as bad. It all depends on how fast I'm going. That kind of thing like that, you know. Beautiful, beautiful. That color, man, that color's popping, boy. It really is, that color's really popping. See, now I'm just trying to learn the orientation of it. See, that orientation, man, that's what throws me off right there. That, that's what throws me off. I couldn't tell the orientation and see, having this field. So the more I practice, the more I get familiar with my stick, where I should be. 